Okay, so access and retrieve. Let's start by explaining a little bit uh, how arrays work. I think it's important to understand uh, the first concept that it's worth paying attention to is the position. Like an array has two things. It, it says it here. It has positions and items. The items are what fills the list. Like for example, if I have an array of fruits, the items are each fruit, you know, the apple, the orange, but when I have an array of fruits, the items also have a position. So they are supposed to be organized in a in a sequence. So from zero to infinite, you know, depending on how much fruit you have or how much cars or whatever you're saving. So that's an important concept. Arrays are sequences. In programming, you will see that sometimes you, you find other structures that maybe are not in a sequence, like objects or like sets. You know, you don't even care where the items are positioned. You care more about how to retrieve them in a different way, like with an object. But here, the way to retrieve an item in an, in an array is through the position. So position, the initial position is always zero. Positions are always numbers. So you have zero, one, two, in this case, right? Three, four, five, and six. So that makes this array to be a length of seven. So the length of the array is seven because it has position from zero to six. Remember, this array doesn't have a position seven. Even though its length is seven, it doesn't have a position seven. It has a position six, five, four, three, two, three, two, one, zero. So we start at zero. So if I tell you what's the element in the position zero? Sunday. What's the element in the position three? Wednesday. What's the element in the position seven? Not Saturday, no, it's actually it's undefined in JavaScript because it, it's not defined, it doesn't exist actually. Okay, so they're telling us to use console log like we did last exercise to print the third item from the array. So the third item will be, as we saw just now, the third item will be two because it's the one, the zero, the one, and the the, uh, my, my bad, the, one, the first one, the second one, and the third one, it's the position two. You can also memorize it saying it's always minus one to whatever the item you're asking me to. Like if you're asking me for the third one, then I'm going to be subtracting one to, to the position. So it, it would be, or I'm, I'm going to be subtracting one to the number, and then that's the position. You know, it's always minus one. So that's, if we do that console log, uh, you'll see that it's printing two, and that's not good. My bad. <laughs> Actually, I have to say my array, the number, the name of the array, and then square brackets, and then I put the position inside. And this is one of the few things that I think you have to memorize. You don't have to memorize almost anything, but this is something you have to memorize. The positions are retrieved by using square brackets. So when you, because if I print the entire array, or if I console log it. It's going to print all the items. Look, let me comment this one out and run it. You'll see it's all the items, and that's not what we want, right? So how do you, how do you access just one item? You have to use square brackets like this, and then position three, so the position two, my bad. The, the, the third item, so the position two. So that's one thing here. What else? Is that change the value of the position where Thursday is located to null? Okay, so basically, if I wanna if I wanna set an item instead of retrieving an item like we did here, by the way, we can also do this like that. Like you can say, let's say let item it's equal to this. Like you store it in a variable and then you you console log it. You are retrieving this value and storing it in a new variable. It was inside this array variable in the position two, and now it's also in the item variable that I just created. You can call this however you like. You can call it um, my var, or you can call it um, day of the week. The variable names should always try to be very explicit because you are your first enemy when you're coding. Like you're gonna make so many mistakes. I make mistakes every day. You'll see me make mistakes in these videos. Or maybe in this one, you already saw me making one, I think, at the beginning. So we make a lot of mistakes, and senior developers understand that. And they are so scared of that, so scared of themselves, that they do whatever they can to avoid them. And 
one of the most powerful tools to avoid making mistakes is the name of the variable. Because if I see this name of this variable, I will already assume that it contains inside days of weeks. You know, maybe a Sunday, maybe a Monday, but I already know a lot about the variable. If I call it my var, then I have no idea what it has inside. I know because of the context, like I know because the, the line above is telling me, but maybe you have this like really far away, you know, in a, in a different moment in the file. So you don't even remember what was inside. And that's normally the case, actually. It's never the case is that you have it right away and you understand. Always the case that you have no idea what's happening and the only clue is the variable name. So please, pick great variable names like day of week. Okay, so that's how you retrieve an item. And then if we want to do the opposite, you know, if we... We just swap the items, right? We swap this with this. So it would be something like this. My array in the position is telling me the position where Thursday is. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the position 4, the position 4, I want to make it, let's say, um, to null. They want me to make it. So null. So let's use the console log as a tool to understand if we did it right. We don't need the test for this, but let, we'll also use the test later. But for now, let's just try it with the console. I'm going to console log the entire array first. Then I'm going to set the position 4. And then I'm going to console log again the entire array. So let's see. Here it is. So here's my first array. And then my second array. What's the difference between them? Well, this one has null here. You see? Null. And this one had Thursday. So I... I actually successfully replace it Thursday with null. Then print that particular position. Okay. So now all I have to do is print it. So print it, it means console log. So my array in the position four. And let me remove this console log here. And I think that was it. Let's test it. And not a success. Let me see what the problem was. Wow, I failed at everything. Uh, console, oh yeah, I also, this one was supposed to print. My bad. Console.log. Actually, let's read the, the test to see if we can understand it. It says console log function should be called tw two times. So that's good. That's a clue. I, I, I forgot the first one. And then print the third item on the array, position 4. I didn't do that. Uh, third item is position 4. Zero. No, that's actually not the position four. The third item is position two. This is wrong. Maybe when you see the video, it's already fixed. And then do not print anything else. Okay, cool. So let's just print here day of week. Three, and then test my thing. And now it's amazing. Cool.